This is a copper conductor, an excellent material for carrying electrical current. But what flows inside it? Let's take a closer look. Free electrons are scattered throughout the conductor, even before any voltage is supplied. They move randomly in all directions due to thermal energy from the surrounding environment. Let's zoom to see what happened at the atomic level. In the conductor like copper, the atom have 1, 2, 3 electrons in their outermost orbit. These are called free electrons because they are loosely bounded to nucleus. At rest, these free electrons move in confused and disorder way because of thermal vibration in metal atoms. But this motion is balanced in all directions, so there is no net flow of charge, no current. When we apply a potential difference, like connecting a battery, an electrical field is created inside the wire. This field pushes the free electrons given their random thermal motion, a small net drift from negative terminal to positive terminal. This small average motion is called drift velocity. In reality, electrons move from negative terminal to positive terminal. But historical convention, we defined electrical current as flowing from positive to negative. But if we disconnect the battery, the electrical field disappears and the drift stops. The electrons returns to pure random thermal motion and current no longer flows. So remember, free electrons are always in random motion due to thermal energy moves from atom to atom in disorder way. They don't flow in one direction by themselves. It is sectional energy from a battery or generator that gives this motion in direction, creating the electrical current that powers our world.